at the end of March and I brought these uh, fish out, my tilapia, with this aquarium. Uh, cleaned it up a little bit and uh, brought it outside and found out the temperature was way too cold. So I brought it, he put the heater in and wrapped it up and now things seem to be warming up. But I've added a um, funnel and water's been spinning into the tank ever since I added some nutrients, some liquid nutrients from this setup. Which as you see also has a funnel. But that's really rich, really rich in nutrients from these bags of, um, of green fodder that I've basically uh, uh, filled or, or you know, dropped in the, in the tank. Nonetheless, we're aerating and decontaminating using a Schauberger uh, concept of uh, creating a water vortex. And while I don't have a proper copper funnel at this moment, I've got a copper pipe that adds to the uh, effectiveness of the molecular restructuring of water molecules and the associated minerals that they're conveying to the uh, plant cells, to the tissues. Uh, so everything's growing well. Uh, it's been really cold in the last week of March. Kind of ridiculous. Uh, something to do with Arctic melting in a major way. Um, anyway, it feels Arctic. It's felt Arctic. But nonetheless, I think this is the end of it. So we're going to be we're going to be uh, imploding water in all systems. to get that effect. This is quite right for the tanks and the nutrients delivery to the fish and to the plants and everything else. And these fish, ever since I put them in this tank, have like come to life and it's all about the water. It's all about the water. They just totally attracted to the water. Before it was like, you know, maybe they'll wait for, they'll get excited when the food comes out. Even the water would circulate, you know, or be aerated, it never had the effect. I've never seen, oops, never seen the effect on fish quite this dramatic. Maybe it's the sun, maybe it's the outdoors, who knows, but it's very noticeable, very noticeable. They are spending a lot of time playing in those bubbles. So... They know best. This is river-like water we're creating, and um, and it uh, must feel good. It must feel good to be a fish and have living water again. By the way, I am feeding these fish. You'll see little duckweed. I managed to get some out of this tank, um, which interestingly enough, a crawfish survived in um, a little bamboo pipe that's down there for the entire winter. But I'm feeding them, uh, just going to be experimenting with feeding them the, the, the uh, aerated detritus of the, uh, of the solids that were decomposing in the anaerobic bags in the tanks. So. I, I feel pretty strongly that all they need in the water is a soup of nutrients. Pre-digested form is fabulous and they're going to get a lot of other vitamins and minerals and such that they're getting out of a complex blend of foods that they weren't getting out of whatever else they were eating that was manufactured. Guaranteed. Bonsai. Murky aquarium on, a, on, an, on an algae filled aquarium, keeping the goldfish that are living in there quite happy. 
And of course there's Cat eating, drinking water with duckweed in it. And Dog, who eats the duckweed with, when she drinks the water with duckweed in it. Keto, what's going on?